Hello and welcome back to Photoshop Pixelfy. Today's video is extra special because it's made on request from one of our amazing viewers who asked for a tutorial on designing an NS interior logo in Photoshop. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a creative design tutorial again. All right, let's dive in. We'll start by selecting the type tool from the toolbar. In two separate layers, type the letters N and S. Make sure to use different fonts for each letter to give them a unique, contrasting style. If you like the fonts I'm using, don't worry. I've added download links in the video description. Next, grab the rectangle tool and draw a clean rectangular shape on top of the letter N. Adjust its size perfectly using Ctrl plus T. Now, press Ctrl plus J to duplicate this shape, and simply drag the copy over to the S letter to maintain balance in the design. Now it's time to add a creative touch. Select the Polygon tool and set the number of sides to 3, because we're going to draw a triangle. Once the triangle is drawn, right-click on its layer and choose Rasterize Layer. Then, make a copy of this triangle using Ctrl plus J. Double-click on the duplicated triangle to bring up the Layer Style panel. From there, activate the Color Overlay option and choose a bright red color. This will help us cut out a portion of the original triangle. Now, using the down arrow key, slightly move the red triangle downward to create a small offset. Next, hold Ctrl and click on the red triangle's thumbnail to create a selection around it. Then, select the black triangle layer and simply press Delete. This removes the intersecting area, giving us a cool slice triangle effect. Press Ctrl plus D to deselect and delete the red triangle layer since we no longer need it. Now comes the fun part, placing our triangle icon over the letters. Press Ctrl plus T to activate Free Transform and scale and position the triangle neatly above the N and S letters, so it sits symmetrically in the middle. This gives the logo a sharp and stylish look.
Next, select the Type tool again to add a subtitle under your logo. You can pick any font that complements your design. And again, the font I used is linked in the description for easy access. Once everything looks good, it's time to prepare the logo for the mock-up. First, hide the background layer to keep things clean. Then, select the top layer and press Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift plus E to create a merged layer of all visible elements. Press Ctrl plus C to copy this merged logo. Now open the mock-up file. You can download the same mock-up from the link in the description. Inside the mock-up, double-click the Smart Object layer. This will open a new window. Press Ctrl plus V to paste your logo in, hide the background layer again, and carefully adjust its size and position. Once you're satisfied, close the Smart Object window and save it. Your logo will instantly appear on the mock-up in a realistic and professional look. And that's it! Your NS interior logo design is now complete, from concept to mock-up. I hope you enjoyed this step-by-step -step tutorial and found it helpful. If you did, make sure to like this video, leave a comment with your feedback or future requests, and of course, subscribe for more creative tutorials every week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next design video.